Welcome to Electromagnetics playlist. I, Professor Hitesh Dholakya, is going to explain you Maxwell's first equation with integral form and differential form. And you should understand this Maxwell's first equation with integral form and differential form that is there based on based on Gauss's law for electric field. So I have already explained Gauss's law for electric field in my previous session. So that is what I will be using it over here to derive Maxwell's first equation for integral form and differential form. So as per Gauss's law, electric flux passing through any enclosed surface that is equals to charge. So that I have already explained. So as per Gauss's law, total electric flux passing through any enclosed surface is equals to charge enclosed by that surface. Now see if I consider this charge as a volume charge, then volume charge that we can calculate based on volume charge density. So for volume charge distribution, For volume charge distribution, charge is equals to volume integration of volume charge density, right? So total charge in volume charge distribution that is volume integration of volume charge density. So we can consider this two equation for further derivation. So from equation 1 and 2, we can say enclosed surface integration of electric flux density that is equals to volume integration of volume charge density and this is and this is integral form of Maxwell's first equation. So we need to mention this see this equation A that is integral form of Maxwell's first equation. Now I will derive differential form of Maxwell's first equation. So I'll use this equation only. Now see I have already explained you divergence theorem and what is divergence theorem? It explains relationship in between surface integration and volume integration. So as per divergence theorem enclosed surface integration that is equals to del dot a dv. So enclosed surface integration of any vector is equals to divergence of volume integration that is what divergence theorem. Divergence theorem explains relationship in between surface integration and volume integration. So enclosed surface integration of vector is equals to divergence of that vectors volume integration. See this is how divergence theorem is there. Now if we apply this divergence theorem to this part of integral form of Maxwell's first equation then then we can have this equation A redefined as now see this will be now del dot d dv right and that is equals to integration rho v dv now see at both of the side there is volume integration so we can cancel that so we can say del dot d that is equals to rho v and this is what differential form this is what differential form of Maxwell's first equation or one can say this is even point form of Maxwell's equation Maxwell's first equation. So let me mention it. So this is what about Maxwell's first equation in integral form and differential form. Integral form is surface integration of electric flux density is equals to volume integration of volume charge density and point form is divergence of electric flux density is equals to volume charge density. So this is what 
Gauss's law for electric field and based on that these two equations which is there with Maxwell's first equation. I hope that you have understood this and these equations are very useful to solve examples even. So you should remember this equation. These are very important and based on that in future you will be finding many more examples in competitive examination as well as in university examination. So you should remember these equations. Thank you so much for watching this video.